If you're looking for the lowdown on macro extension tubes for cameras, you came to the right place. Hey there, thanks for coming. My name's Terrence. If this is the first time to this channel and you're looking to learn about photography and take better photographs, then click subscribe below and hit the bell notification icon so you'll be notified when new content comes out. If you're looking to find out what macro extension tubes are and want to know what they're all about, then you have come to the right channel. I'm going to explain what they are, how they work, how to install them, and why you should get them. I think I just gave you the finger gun just like this. Pretty lame? Cheesy? Whatever? Or does it really matter? Vote now. And I promise I'm trying to get better for you. So let's get into it. Macro extension tubes are attachments that allow you to turn any lens, like a lens like this here, into a macro lens. Uh, a macro lens, if you didn't already know, is a, le a lens that allows you to focus and zoom at something at a much closer distance than you normally can. This gives you those shots that you sometimes see of an insect that's really, really zoomed in, or a flower, or something that's just fantastic and really, really detailed and much closer than you can uh, possibly imagine. Macro extension tubes uh, actually pretty work simply by attaching in between your camera body and the camera lens by giving you a greater distance between the sensor uh, in your camera and then the start of the lens. And having that larger distance uh, between the sensor and the start of the lens versus a smaller distance is what allows you to focus on something closer to the front of your lens than something further back. The reason people use extension tubes like this and why I highly recommend them is that they are so much cheaper than a dedicated macro lens. The difference is frankly tenfold. Uh, it's great for people who want to get into macro shooting without spending too much and really, really committing to macro. And if you want to just try macro and if you've never done any macro shop before and you want to check out um, how it's going to work, I've got a hack on turning any lens like this into a macro lens for free. It'll take you uh, several seconds to do. Uh, just click on the link above you're going to see coming up and click on that video and you're going to learn how to get free macro uh, out of any lens. There are two types of macro extension tubes, automatic ones and manual ones. Uh, so manual ones like this one here are uh, super cheap, cost around 15 bucks and they work fairly well. The reason they're cheap is that there's no communication between the lens and the camera. So uh, any of the functions you might do on your, uh, your camera here that's going to adjust the uh, autofocus or image stabilization or any functionality in your lens that you can control on the camera, you will not have any of that. While it does seem a bit drastic, uh, it's not actually a big issue. Just know you have to manually focus. Uh, know that you're always going to be defaulting to your widest aperture. And that's uh, to, to know that's how a lens works, that if there's no power going to it, it defaults as wide. Uh, and then move on from there. If you take a look at these pictures that are coming up on the screen, uh, these are ones I took using this exact extension tube. Um, I think it was with my uh, Canon 40D, not my, uh, my 5D, but uh, same diff, and they came out fantastic if you ask me. And I have a link below if you just want to click in my description uh, of where you can get these on Amazon for, like I said, about 15 bucks if you're looking to pick one of these up. This one here is an automatic lens. It's the Optica. Um, uh, automatic macro extension tube, uh, I think they still make them. The benefit of the automatic version uh, versus the, the manual version like I had here is that all your connectivity between the camera and the lens will continue to work. If you look inside you'll see why that is. Uh, you have all of the, uh, the uh, connections to, uh, to the sensor, or to the, uh, the camera, to the, to the lens that allows it to communicate and give power to the lens so everything will continue working when you uh, when you put this on. For around 30 bucks or so, it's a worthwhile deal. I've got a link below to Amazon where you can get these as well. Um, highly recommend if you're gonna do a macro extension tube, if you're not on a budget, you could double it to, uh, to 30 bucks or so, uh, get the automatic one, I think that's a great idea. In terms of using these Canon extension tubes, it's pretty simple. I'll show you these three steps that I follow when putting them on my Canon 5D Mark II. First thing you want to do is assess how many rings you're going to use. Uh, notice that they, uh, they come with uh, three different rings on all of them, at least the two that I have, one, two, three on that one, and then three sets here. What they're really about is uh, how close you're going to get for zooming in, because it's putting you further and further away 
from the uh, end of the lens to the sensor. Uh, so if you just you want to do just a little bit of macro, you could on this one take that off and just have the uh, the base component and get that ready for installation. The next thing you want to do is actually remove your lens. So if you don't know how to do that, pretty simple. Uh, there's a little button on most cameras here. We just press it, turn, and then you can take it off and just put your lens to the lens to the side here. And that's step two. Step three, we'll be adding on the uh, the base extension tube. So you want to match up the red dot to the red dot on your uh, Canon, and just click it into space. So now you have the extension tube on and you're gonna put your Canon camera in the same way, your lens on there, click, and then done. We now have an extension tube on our camera and we can actually now take macro shots with this. The one thing I'd note is if you're actually using a really heavy lens, so not like a, this 24 to 105 is not too bad of a lens, uh, but something that's uh, you know, a, a lot bigger, a really a large zoom lens, maybe the 70 to 200, or if you got a, I have a 100 to 400 lens, that's a bit of a beast. When using these tubes, I'd be worried about putting a lot of stress of a lens that heavy on the tubes up front. Uh, I would just say take note of that. You probably want something resting the lens and the base as well, or um, doing something else to support it. Uh, I haven't had any trouble with it, but it's just a concern in the back of my mind that you might want to consider that. So there you have it. When you uh, compare this to a $400 entry macro lens, this is a great deal. Uh, like I said, about 30 bucks for this, $15 for that. It's going to take any lens you have already and turn it into a macro lens. Will it be as good as a dedicated macro lens? Probably not, but if you're getting into it and you, you've done my reverse trick from the video I showed earlier on uh, and you want to do some macro to see if you really like it, this is a cheap entryway in versus $400. And frankly, the, the good macro lens is $800 or more. So this is where you want to go. Note that you need to match your extension tube to the type of camera you have. So if you're using a Canon and you want a, a Canon macro extension tube, you need to get one that's an EF slash EFS. If that's the body you have, if you have one of the older uh, mount types on a Canon, you need that. If you're using a, a Nikon, you need to use then a, a Nikon extension tube that's gonna be set for the specific mount type it has. If you've got a Sony and you want a Sony uh, camera extension tube, it needs to be for the Sony mount that you're using. Uh, and so on and so forth. So pretty straightforward, easy to find. Just go on Amazon or to, uh, to your local camera store and they should have it. Although actually these may not be as available in camera stores. They're probably gonna sell you the, uh, the main brand extension tubes like the Canon ones, super expensive. Uh, you almost may as well buy a macro lens at that point. Uh, I would say stick to Amazon or eBay for these guys. Hopefully you found this video interesting. Uh, if you have, please subscribe. Click the bell notification icon to be notified when a new video of mine comes out. Like this video if you thought it was cool. Share it with friends for other photographers who might want to uh, use this. And comment with any questions, feedback, or suggestions below. I uh, really look forward to that. Finally, if you are interested in taking fantastic sunset photos, I've got a link below to my free guide that's going to show you how to take awesome sunsets. Thanks, this is Terrence. Have a great day.